Hello, Vanessa Lesniak here and welcome back to my channel. And for all of those who are new here, welcome. This time I am going to show you how you can use shimmers in a in an abstract galaxy galaxy piece. Now, a lot of times shimmers are used as accents in regular pieces. However, I love to use shimmers or metallic watercolors, they're one and the same, um, to create entire pieces. So this is what we are going to do today. So we're gonna start off by drawing a circle directly in the middle of your page and one of the same size right underneath it. On the top of that middle circle, we're going to draw a smaller circle. And this smaller circle is going to be turned into a crescent moon. So what we're going to do is erase one side of it. You'll see that I am erasing the um, left side of my circle and turning that into a crescent moon by just adding in a half circle um, in the middle. Now take your ruler and you can eyeball the middle of the center circle and we're going to draw some radiating lines coming from that center circle. So we're going to draw the first two horizontal lines across the circle and then try to find the middle and just draw a little tiny dot. So you're going to follow that dot. You're going to place the ruler along that dot and um, draw some radiating lines um, all across the outside of the page. So we're going to go all around. As a side note, as I am drawing my pieces, I usually don't have a set design in mind as I am drawing them. So you'll see that I'm adding um, little details here and there as the piece goes along. So next, I decided that I would really like to add a little bit more fun and detail to the bottom circle. So to that, I am going to add a crescent moon. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the crescent moon above, starting with a circle, erasing part of it or half of it, and then drawing in the, um, the crescent inside of it. Now I'm going to be using two colors to paint this piece. The first one is going to be Lyra, which is a multi-chrome shimmer or metallic watercolor. And multi-chrome means that it has several colors in, once, in one. So as the light hits it, it changes color. And this is going to add a lot of interest and detail to this piece. So right now I am just wetting my pan of Lyra. And the first thing I'm going to do is trace that center circle in this color.
using this same color, I am going to paint in both crescent moons and also outline the bottom circle. Now we are going to switch to our second color and I will be using Solaris and Solaris is a gold shimmery watercolor and it is quite bold and quite bright. So with Solaris, I am going to trace all of the radiating lines on the outside of our um, circles and our crescent moon. Now in order to add a bit more interest, I am going to break up the lines so they're not going to be completely straight across the paper. This is also good if you have, this is also good to do if you have shaky hands like I do. Um, it's very difficult for me to completely draw a straight line because my hands are so shaky. So you can just break them up and um, follow, follow the sketch lines that you drew previously.
using the same color, I am also going to draw a glowing star in the middle of the circle, uh, the circle, the middle circle. <laughs> so we are going to start with a cross. So draw a very thin cross using the very tip of your brush um, along inside of the middle circle. Once you have your cross drawn, what you're going to do is draw a triangle inside, or not a triangle, draw a diamond inside of that circle. And I really like to curve the edges of the diamond shape just to kind of conform with the cross shape that's already in there. Add a couple of dots at the ends of your lines to give your star a little bit more character. I am also going to draw a, a couple of lines in the shape of an X, um, just to short, sort of show a shine coming through this star in the middle of our circle. Make sure that your lines are as thin as you can make them. So use the very, very tip of your brush to do this. From here on out, we are going to be adding a lot of little details to kind of bring this whole piece together. If you like the piece as it is, you can stop right now. Um, however, you can continue adding as many or as little details as you want, just to kind of bring everything together. So what I'm going to do is add a couple of dots of color to the lines. And you can just add them anywhere. I'm just adding them here and there. You don't have to add dots to every single line, but I do like to scatter them around and make sure that I get some in every corner of, of the page. Once I'm satisfied with the number of dots that I have added to the radiating lines, I'm going to go back to my original color, which is Lyra, and I'm going to add some really small half moons around the paper, around the outside, and I'm going to add some stars as well. So we're just adding a bit more interest to the dark, the black spaces of our, um, of our piece. Now with this same color, our original color, I am going to load up my brush and add a bit of spatter, splatter around the entire paper. And this splatter is just going to make the piece shine. It's going to make it look like there are tiny stars um, splattered across the sky. So you can add as much or as little splatter as you would like. I am also going to fill in a little bit of the empty spaces by adding in some circles. And this is going to tie in the circles of the centerpiece as well as the circles that we've added to our radiating lines. So this is the point where I kind of take a step back and change my perspective and look at my piece from a different angle just to see what's missing. And I do see that there is a lot of empty space in the middle circle as well as the lower circle. So what I'm going to do is add a couple of dots um, along the inner edge 
of the middle circle and the dots are going to be right where the radiating lines meet the outer circle. So it's going to make it look as if the radiating lines are originating where these dots are. And finally, using the same color, Solaris, I am going to add in some radiating lines inside of the lower circle. Um, that was just too dark for me. It was too empty of a space. So I decided to fill that in by continuing the radiating lines um, from the outside in the inside. And um, again, this is just going to tie everything together. It's going to give it a little bit more interest and it's going to make it look a little bit more cohesive. And finally, we are going to finish up the entire piece by adding in a couple of dots of Solaris across or along the lower circle line. And with that, we are done. So I'm going to um, show you really quickly what this uh, multi-chrome shimmer looks like. And you'll see <clears throat> that um, it shines different colors as according to how the light hits it. So it has a little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, some green and some blue, and it just adds a lot of interest to the final piece. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.